All right. Episode number this one. Uh, oh, the very last thing we did, I believe, last week was we did Dorian's uh, quest line where he meets his father. And we found out that the beef between him and his dad is that Dorian is gay. And his dad does not like that. So beyond that, um, he, he thinks of Dorian kind of an, an abomination because in Tevinter, in the north, uh, they don't really have the sort of like love sort of marriage thing. They, they, it's a, it's a region of mages and they actually breed. They try to find breeding partners. And I know you might be saying, don't we all, but they try to find, uh, people with the exact like traits and stuff to make better babies. So they're trying to breed the best, uh, mages, uh, and leadership type role people that they can and so uh dorian's father and mother were paired together because of their traits to make a a brilliant son who then would pair with another brilliant daughter and make e an even better mage and so his dad's like you can't do that because you're gay so i hate you um so anyway that storyline was pretty heavy uh we helped dorian oh that's yeah that's what you're talking about G did a good friend thing so we, we sided with Dorian, but we did tell him to hear his father out or else he would regret it. Uh, and that's kind of where we ended last week. Why is my microphone crooked? What's my... Anyway, that was the last thing we did. Um, so we need to go to the war table. It's going to take some... Someone's being held in Skyhole and awaits judgment. Yeah, hang on. War table can wait. I have to judge someone. Find them wanting. Let's go, Nathan. What's someone last night saying? Apple and a few other huge telecoms are causing the shortage of semiconductors for PS5s. So you're going to blame Apple for the lack of yours? Sounds like a good plan. Hey, it's one of those uh, rune things. Solus. Solus. I like Solus, actually. The interesting thing is most people uh, that have told me what who their favorite characters are and stuff as we played, no one likes Solus. But I kind of do. <laughs> I don't know why. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Oh, thank you. The smell is everywhere. The Holy Pope. Use them for dinner and, then and Pope, you must be busy, but thank you for coming by and following the stream. Much appreciated. I'm sorry you can't type, but we have people spoiling. So on Wednesdays, no type. Uh, but I, I do appreciate it. Request to fight. Workers finishing the banner or placements are requesting more important tasks. Several wish to train with swords so they can fight. More directly, serving the Inquisition. They travel to join a war, not to dress up a keep. Can't say I disagree, Foreman Sharice. Our enemy cut a hole in the sky, seen everywhere. We look upon it from below, but it need not humble us. We may fight because we are many. We are many because the Inquisitor inspires. The Inquisitor inspires because of his growing legend. Part of this legend is what the masses find on arrival. That is the job of your workers. Not vanity, not veneration, not impulse, but elevation. Their skills as workers is a greater or is greater threat to the enemy than their number in half-trained soldiers. Lady Montelliet. Hey, is that my mama? Souls was your favorite character until you got Sarah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah seems to be a really popular one. Sarah and Dorian. All right, let's see what this uh, judgment is. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment, where you will sit in judgment. Like all the party members though? Who will I judge? Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. I kill enough people as it is. We'll execute people here. A grim responsibility. Still more lives in my hands. Adam's court. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, 
execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Let us begin. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Hmm. I am ready. Let's, uh, let's determine the rest of someone's life. I'm up for this responsibility for sure. Hey, sit up straight. Gerion Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination on your own life, no less. Tevinter has wow. disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magistrate oh, man. as you see fit. Oh, and his son's dead now, too. Let's go, McDumb. You got hit with a gift song from Phelan last week. That's awesome. Uh, these are grave charges. I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. This guy basically try uh he sent us through time and made everyone live like the most hellish year ever. Nearly destroying the world, creating a evil god. And he's not even sorry about it. It's not really making good sake, yeah. He'll serve the mages. I want him researching magic. Imprison him. I'm executing him myself. What? That's the options? This is like a big character in the game so far too. So it doesn't feel like a light decision. This is a pretty heavy thing to do first thing on a Wednesday morning, you know? So here's, all right. Let, let's think this out if this was real. If we have him researching magic, he's either going to half do it or find a way to kill himself. Or what's really going to happen is he's probably going to secretly like try to figure out some blood magic to reunite him with his son or bring his son back to life or some kind of fade ridiculousness. I don't know what serve Redcliffe mages means. Imprison him doesn't really do us any good. I don't want to kill him myself. I think I'm actually going to have him research magic, though. And if it comes back to bite me... Redcliffe mages are our allies. Yeah. We didn't enslave them. This is like... The lead scientist who, hurt, who like, served Hitler. And we're America. <laughs> we're like... I know you did some pretty atrocious things... But if you can jump us ahead 10 years in our sciences, eh, it would be the butler. The legend of Adam Kuzland. <laughs> I feel like because, like, I shouldn't hold a grudge, even though he basically almost killed everyone. Because we're trying to close this friggin' rift and save the world, and we need every scrap of everything we can get to do so. So I'm gonna have him research magic and see what it does. I might regret this, but we'll see. The maid. The legend of Adam Kuzling continues. Jesus. Your magic was theoretically impossible, Alexius. I could use people like you. Your sentence is to serve, under guard, as a researcher on all things magical for the Inquisition. No execution. <sighs> Very well. So Iron Bull and Solus approved. Cole approves. Vivian approves. Everyone else. Cassandra and Sarah really didn't like that. Oh, we got a new operation because of that. Magic in Redcliffe. All right. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Interesting. You think you had a different option than me? Well, that's weird. What option did you did you have that you think I didn't? Because I mean that's abs. So here's the thing: there are uh, specifically the game tells you uh, the Inquisitor points. 
you could make him a tranquil. So um, the Inquisitor points, you could actually unlock more conversation choices with things like that. There's probably other ways you can unlock more choices in matters as well. Whoa, this is different, isn't it already? Also, I'm just misremembering. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so I, I wouldn't doubt. Oh no. Certainly spared no expense. Wait, this is my bedroom? I don't think I've been up here, have I? This reminds me of The Witcher. The balcony in Witcher 3. Or maybe because you were an elf or mage. Yeah, that could be part of it too. Skyhold Garden, Courtyard Upgrade, Main Watchtower. Okay. Man, I want a balcony like this. Wardrobe. Casual wear. Hang on a second. Yeah. <laughs> what is this one? No, no, no. We're definitely going with that dark blue. There we go. Formal wear. Oh. Well, well, well. Outerwear. The Night's Watch. Oh, I'm a... How does this look? Yeah, let's be really shiny. Swimwear. <laughs> this is a huge friggin' room. I guess it makes sense. I'm basically the king of this place. Our room's gotta be big. Huh, I wonder what'll be up here eventually. All those owls? I like owls. They're one of my favorite animals. Yeah, this is interesting, the Tranquil thing. Did you end up choosing that as well? You did make him a Tranquil. Hmm. That would make a lot of sense too, because then he wouldn't be able to practice magic, but he would still be able to help with the research. Like, um, uh, God, I don't remember the name, but we met that elf last week. Uh, she replaced one of the ones that died in Haven. That's exactly what she does. She's like the requisition person or whatever, or the monster parts person. So that's where the my quarters are. Ah, this is where I meant to go. Mages in the party. You don't think the mages like the idea either? I can understand that. Where does that go? I don't know. We'll go there in a minute. Yeah, this place is massive. Inquisitor. I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation yeah. crafts. Superb owl. I love some and superb owls. Any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. Yeah, let's keep up appearances. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Deiras requires. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus's attack. Yeah, I would say so. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first burst of fire. So many people turned to ash. Yeah, maybe if you're like the contractor and you're building a floor in like an e an evil elder god lands with a dragon, maybe the first thing you should do is, is is like run away and not not charge the guy with your hammer or something, you know? I won't let it haunt me. I wish we'd save more lives. We'll have our revenge. Uh, I wish I'd, we'd save more. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure. Before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor. Well, thanks. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention. 
and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. You want to go for a walk? Let's see what she says. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. Please don't actually give me a tour. Isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. All right, anything new? Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand <laughs> magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Coat looks like a giant of a bit. A little bit. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. I thought she was going to ask if it hurt when I fell from, from heaven. No. I'll be fine. It looks strange, but it hadn't done me harm. If it did come from Corypheus, that's a small mercy. A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the bridge devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. Umbarian, welcome back. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Show off for us. We need some propaganda. Let's send some diplomats. Sure, diplomats it is. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Jader. Excellent. I believe there's much to be gained by winning them over. What may I do for you? What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. What about our allies? Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? How are the mages doing that we recruited? Oh. She's asking... Uh, the individual mages? Sure, we'll see what she says. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. What do you think of Vivienne? We've met a few times before at court. She remains a truly accomplished player of the game. So long as her interests align with yours, Madame Vivienne will be a most valuable Yeah, that's kind of worrisome. Just player of the game on your good side, Inquisitor. that's Orlesian for they'll basically do anything for an increase in uh in status in Orle <laughs> uh, and to get what they want you must have an opinion of Dorian who hasn't the man could cause the scenes yeah exactly <laughs> in the center of an empty room Still, I do believe he has your best interests at heart, for all that he delights in mocking them from time to time. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief's discovered must come in handy, however, I'm sure. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. Oh, my friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. He's got time to write? Well, it's probably because I'm not bringing him on too many missions lately. Cole, actually. Who? Oh, wait. You mean the quiet young man? How strange. I'm sure we must have talked, yet I can't recall what we discussed. Yeah, it sounds about right. 
The Iron Bull has had to have made an impression. He is a loud, unapologetic accident merely waiting to happen. I do wish he'd stop daring poor dignitaries to outdrink him. <laughs> I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevada, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. I like Cassandra's story so far, too, but a lot of her opinions differ from ours. So a lot of times I just pick what I feel would be best if I was in that scenario. And immediately it's like, Cassandra disapproves. <laughs> it's like, whatever, Cassandra. What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. You know, maybe that's one of the reasons uh, I've been drawn more towards, like, Solus and stuff. Because I'm picking things that I think I would probably pick in that scenario, or as close to it as I can for the most part, and playing the part. And as I go through it, the people that are uh, kind of in that same vein, like, feeling the same way, have been Solus and Blackwall, and the two of the highest ones. And so I've been like, yeah, I like those two quite a bit. So you, you heard it here. I like people that agree with me. Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes the resemble <laughs> a man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. Goodbye. Let's speak later. Farewell. See what you have in common with him. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's natural, right? You, like in real life, you generally fall into to line with people that uh, at least have similar outlooks on major topics as yourself. It's good to like have a variety and see different sides of things. But I mean, the more common ground you have, the easier it is, so. Ole, 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 ole. Uh, what do we have? We got so many new things. So many new things. Port ready. I'll need a larger coffer soon. You made the right decision, Josephine. Got a pommel. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where these inventory could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the lo locations on your map. Should you pass by any on your travels? we got to remember that if we see any um, uh, Venatori quests, that we should take Dorian with us. Okay. Uh, search for the Hack Rider. Cullen. We found Magistrate Camring dead in his home. There was no sign of forced entry, but Camring was holed up in a closet in full armor with a knife in his back. Wasn't that a scene from Harden Hightown? The guard is investigating now. And tell Varric to watch his back. Watch your back. Well. Uh, protect the Inquisition's reputation. Strike a bargain with merchant princes. Hot and Hindtown. Unsavory parallels. Uh, disaster in the Deep Roads. That's a power one. We'll probably wait on that. Gain Orzammar's friendship. I like... I would like to do that. Specialization... Specialization for the Inquisitor. Done. I'll let you know as soon as I do. I'm going to be asking Cullen, probably because we're a warrior. I can ensure instruction for the legions who want to join, but can we expect the Inquisitor to remain a leader while training with a subordinate? He is a figure of inspiration and should rightly be one of... Aspiration. Promoting a specialist from within the rank seems lacking. With due respect to our people, the need of the Herald are so specific. I recommend looking, out, recommend looking outside for the best combat specialist to be found, regardless of their affiliation. All right. Uh, I don't approve, but that is irrelevant. You will have the best. Best of the best have been summoned. Training with these specialists will ensure the Inquisitor's abilities remain at their height. There we go. I'm guessing... I didn't open up another one, so I'm guessing it must be like a quest out somewhere. Probably in... Probably in Skyhold. Truth or dare, gather coin. Investigate Frostback Basin. Uh, the Fallow Mire. 
resources. I don't want to do that one. Uh, let's see what pops up in Orlay now that we've done all this. A friend in Carinus. Investigate Hunter Fell, the Serpent of Navarra. We have to take Cassandra with us. Alliance observing the deadlock. Stop venatory activity in the west. That takes 20 power. Investigate the Exalted Plains. Uh, the magic used in Redcliffe. Judgments. Liberate uh, Empress du Lyon. Make contact in the Emerald Graves. All right, let's judge someone else. I want to... I want to change people's life. Alexius has been put to work as a magical researcher for the Inquisition. The spell he used in Redcliffe was incredibly complex. Even he doesn't understand all of the theory behind it. But he has confessed it was only possible to cast because the breach has thinned the veil. Alexius can look into applications of the theory for safer use. Ooh, an hour and 54 minutes? Yeah, let's get on that, Leiliana. I'm really curious about... That's, we already made the judgment for him, obviously, but... Uh, I also want to do this Orzammar one. I don't know why. I liked Orzammar in Origins. We have received a message from Orzammar. Knowing an ancient darkspawn threatens Thetis, King Balin officially declared his support for the Inquisition. I could advise sending a delegation to Orzammar as soon as possible to cement this alliance. Yeah, let's do it. Let us begin. Let's get allied with the dwarves. All right, one more... Protect the Inquisition's reputation. What would Cullen want to do? Dear Lady Montaliet, there are scandalous rumors flying about Starkhaven. Tales that paint the Inquisition as wicked or suppose we suppose. Uh and the every time I see that word, I immediately think of Skyrim. Usurped the king. Anyway, I suspect Lord Tre uh, Trevelyan's relatives, the ones we quieted before with the help of Sister Liliana, are taking their petty vengeance. There is a ringleader, Ban Dorner, who has taken care not to let any whispers be traced or tra yeah, traced back to his household. The man has a tongue as forked as an Orlesian bard's. If he could be made an example of, I believe the naysayers would fall silent. She would start giving the royal family before. We started rumors. So she would start rumors. If his taxes were mysteriously inflated, he have something else to worry about. I guess I'll just send Cullen. Inquisitor. I'll probably send him anyway. All right, we got three people at the war table. Let's go see uh, if we got a quest. Well, we know there's a quest somewhere in Skyhold. I saw that on the map before we judged. Uh, what's his face? Man, this game has a lot, a lot to it. Not like a lot of just the same stuff either. That's the three champions. Speak to the trainers. Thren. Thanks for my life in Haven. You've all sorts serving now. If that means change, so be it. Uh, which part are they in? Special shipments on the ground floor. There they are. They're on the ramparts. There's also a quest from Cullen on the ramparts, so. Uh, we need to go up. If I can remember just how to do that. I know where that goes. Is there a way to the ramparts from there? Is that door open? Yeah. Hello, Verk. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Oh. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your Holy crap, you guys are loud. What's up, Cullen? What do you need? Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from. Theron Fall Redoubt. 
The knights were fed red lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption. Was Samson. Complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this. Red lyrium is nothing like the lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. Uh, I believe you. I've talked to Varric. Inquisitor, my piece is almost ready to come out of the oven. May I borrow your coat? The Red Templar's swarming haven were proof enough. We cannot allow them to gain strength. The Red Templars still require Lyrian. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Good thinking. I like finding the Red Templars' vulnerabilities before fighting them head on. Absolutely. We'll need every advantage against what courses through their veins. Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. Yeah, like I was saying, there's so many things in this game and not just... The game is so large, it seems, with so many facets to it. And there, it's not all like the same thing over and over, just recoded. Like with the Judgment thing. Uh, and a lot of the different quest varieties so far. Maybe it'll get repetitive at some point, but so far it's been pretty, uh, pretty good. Breaker. Let's look at you. Right, you'll survive it. Maybe. And you are? I'm a breaker. My name is Thram. And I was not expecting a messenger from this place. The Inquisitor wants to be a reaver. <laughs> Your title is Breaker? What is that? It's a reaver. It's a name. It serves. You will become a reaver, or you will break. This is not a road for those who worry about what others think. You want power? Admit it. I think I'm going you champion. To win. If you give a toss about opinion, you can write your own history after you win. Let's not waste time. You've dragons to conquer, infusions to make, and blood to drink. Dragons are involved. Dragons are the heart of it, the beating heart. We take of the dragon and become more than a mortal with a sword. We become a conduit to power, but we're not mages. Demons reach through but find no purchase. They're a slave to the blade, your blade. Sounds pretty cool. She's making a pretty good point. She, she could be an excellent army recruiter. It seems like there's a lot of risk to this. There's no risk, there's a promise. If you do this, you will change. There is no retirement from this life. But unlike the Grey Warden or the Templar, you don't wither. You'll die when you fail. Until then, glory. What will this allow me to do? Win. Not just victory, but no. a bloody victory. The withering of your enemies will empower. The more they think they prevail, the more you bleed, the more you triumph. You wish to inspire? Inspire terror. Blood to drink? What do you mean by blood? I meant what I said, and it was meant to stop you cold. This way begins and ends with dragon blood. Blood is life. Life is power. It's that simple. Reavers know it. Blood mages know it. All others can debate it in the next world. Okay. I'm not making this decision now. Harold, I hear you wish training so you don't embarrass those sworn to you. <laughs> okay. I'm summoned to offer instruction in the physical aspect of the Templar. I'm Sir. Sir what? Sir. Our time is brief, Harold. Mm. I trust you are serious. If you're Sir, I'm Inquisitor. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, 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 I won't be as smart aleck to Sir, I welcome and look forward to your instruction. I've no doubt. Many want to be part of the Order and what it stands for. I don't teach that. The Order, faith, is not where Templar abilities come from. Faith is how Templars endure their abilities. I teach how to deny magics, not Oh, I still need to look at Cassandra's specialization. Deny, and that lies in Lyrium. You will construct a filter, you will suffer its effects, 
and you will be worthy of inspiration. How you endure will be your own affair. What are the risks? What is it that I will endure? The Inquisition Templars seem fine. Inside you, there is something you don't know you possess. Becoming a Templar will make you keenly aware. You will feel empowered. It is joyous. But once you are accustomed, that something will get hungry. You have never felt this. The Order fights it with brotherhood. I don't know what a herald has. Um... I'm not that involved in the faith side of things. I don't quote the Chartered Life. Know it or don't, it has proven useful to many, but it has failed some too. Whatever you need, keep it dear. This filter, describe it. It is a simple box, or an ornate one. It has simple tools or bejeweled. Depends on what you need. You will use it to prepare the daily draft of Lyrium that allows the denial of magic. No one else can do this for you. Soon you won't know you're doing it. It will be a part of you. Why is it a good discipline? All right, tell me what the benefits are. Magic was meant to serve man. This is ensured through the muscle and will of Templars. We deny the mage his magic. We deny the demon its magic. We are the beacon of right on the battlefield. The benefits, Herald, the benefit is control. Right, last one. This must be the champion. Not yet. I'll come back. Inquisitor, imagine the frothing of the minstrels dreaming of this meeting. Frantic. I, of course, am Lord Chancellor de Lyon. Of course. And I am here to aid your ascension to glory in the hearts of the people. I shall make you a champion. Champion. I'm excited to learn how to serve in this way. Oh, no. No, 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 lad. Be eager, yes. But to serve. Only from the front. Champion is about being a leader while also being known, respected. There are formalities, of course. Procedures, pish and tosh. All superseded as you already lead a nation. Once you set... And have your stand. I was thinking, yeah. You shall command like you were born. Flash just ran by. <laughs> and of course you were. <laughs> I don't know what that. The guard was doing something else weird earlier when I was talking to the uh, the breaker. There's always a cost. What's the risk? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the future of all who live by the sword. If you needed a patron, I'd say be certain you choose wisely. Many a head has been lost for the faults of others, but you. You are your own authority. You already lead, and I dare say your current task has enough risk. So dangers of the future. What's when wrong with this guy? Favorite of the people. Are you allergic to silks? It's good to be champion. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to flash by again. Ugh. You mean a literal standard? Colors. Something for you to raise, or the field, the tavern, the backhouse, wherever you wish could cut a square and claim a mere flag but the inquisition is no scow alerting bridges it's a beacon we're joining the justice the league step. oh he went <laughs> no drowning in gold to gain its strength or other tosh maybe we should recruit that guy this random guard up top <laughs> is it similar to a knight or an orlesian chevalier we share a way of the field and they can be useful but those titles carry a certain reputation. Chevaliers are generally pricks in my experience. The people are less inclined to celebrate those backhanders. You want to be their champion. <laughs> He's gonna do it again. I've already kind of decided I want to go champion route. That way, it seems good if I want to switch to tanking, but it also has great stuff for uh, two-hander too, like the... Um, there was something on there about resetting cooldowns, something there about uh, taking no damage for eight seconds, and then that stacking with the, uh, what was it, the tower move? Also reduced, reduced cooldowns on crit, so I'm betting we can get a lot of, uh, he's gonna do it again, I'm just waiting on it. He's key to be involved, yeah. Um, I think we can get a lot of, like, iframes or, you know, immortal time. 
I kind of want to wait until he does it again before I leave this conversation. All right, Lord Chancellor. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> of course you are. You already have. Mere formality awaits. There's a process, a few shows of ability to start them talking. But you'll take to it just fine. Remember, it's good to be champion. I'm gonna do that one first. He's racing around the planet to reverse time. Do you think he'll do it even if we're not in that, like... Alright, I gotta see. I'm wondering if he'll do it even though we're not in that conversation. No, that's what it was. We were blocking his pathing. And so he was, like, building up speed here. And the game was like, you should be over here. So my guy, that's where he went. <laughs> uh, are we winning? Uh, yes. We have done many battles today. 40 minutes of just talking to people. Such is Bioware, I suppose. It's doing stuff. Alright. Um. Back to the war table. And we'll go do some quests. I, don't know. I did judge someone, yeah. That's true. I held courts. And uh, one of the science, the scientists basically of Hitler, uh, I saved him to use for our own gain. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. It's almost like allergies, but it's not spring. Death on the wall. One of our finishers, Garen, fell from the scaffold and landed on a paving stone. He had breath for a hour, but his eyes were still. He died and the Chantry sisters wrapped him. What should we do? Have them commit his body with those we have lost since Haven. I will record his sacrifice with the Inquisition. Move his fellow workers to another site and allow time off with pay if they request. Ensure that all workers do their jobs safely. We're in a war, not a race. Rushing does no good if we harm ourselves. We are all the Inquisition. Uh, Lady Montelliette is not... I don't know why earlier I called her my mom. Because it's... It's, it's literally Liliana, right? Is it Montilia? Isn't that her last name? Am I just misremembering? It's been a week. I can't be expected to remember anything. <laughs> oh, we didn't read uh, some of these. No, no, no. That's um, Josephine. Why am I getting their names mixed up? Diplomat lady. That you asked to... Yeah, Josephine Montelier. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. It only take a second. I don't know what's up. <sighs> yeah, Montelia had his Josephine. So earlier I called her mommy. Which I mean... Might be alright. Am I going to play through Mass Effect Legendary Edition? Yeah, yeah, I will. I haven't decided if I'm going to play through it, um, like, st straight through as the main game after it's out. Just to get, get it done. Or if I am going to, uh... Uh, just do it as a Wednesday game. I haven't... Have I been down here? Does this just connect to the lower level? I don't think I've been down this way. Alright, there's a bunch of art down here. I wonder what this will be. Whoa. How to act Ferelden. <laughs> what? 
My esteemed Lady Sidonia. I'd like to take full responsibility for Lady Marchalette's odd behavior of late. You see, we recently began the study of history. I thought that it would do the young mistress some good to be exposed to all the Dogen cultures and not just Orlais. It was a foolish thought. Regre regrettably, your dear daughter has taken a particular interest in Ferelden folklore. She first developed an affinity for King Callanhad, which seems to have, a, have devolved into borderline infatuation. She stared at me, eyes wide, when I told how he unified the barbarians with his allegedly incomparable might and charisma. Every time I tried to move the lesson on to something more important, she insisted I tell her again about Callanhad. How the Ferelden say his hair was twice as yellow as the sun, and his chin more chiseled than the tallest peak in the Frostbacks. Twice now, I've had to tear down drawings she's tacked up in her bedroom of the man shirtless. <clears throat> then we moved on to the werewolves, which was even worse. As you may already know, the Ferelden, uh, Ferelden's venerate the folk heroes Dane and Hafter. Dane was said to have been a werewolf, and Hafter to have descended from one. No enlightened man or woman could ever view such beast people with anything but revulsion. But, you know Ferelden's and their love of wildlife. Unfortunately, these tales of the wolfmen set the little mistress's imagination afire. When she, she suggested we put on a play for you and her lord father, I cannot say no. I'm afraid that's why Marchal, Marchalette was running through the mansion wearing wet furs and frightening the chambermaids. She was rehearsing a scene in which Hafter drives back the Darkspawn. I've been informed that some priceless family heirlooms were destroyed amidst all that confusion. I cannot fully express my dismay. I understand if my abject failure as a tutor results in my immediate dismissal. A letter from Brother Bernard to his former employer. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't know why it feels like I'm having some kind of allergy thing today. Usually that... Uh, I was editing a video just the other day from last spring and I was like, oh no, this is the one where my allergies were bugging me. And then my wife was sitting here and she was like, and that season's coming right up here soon. I was like, oh God, I'm gonna be on the stream again, scratching my nose the entire time. Why wait for spring? The first blight, chapter two. People today have little concept of the consequences of the second sin. Oh, believe me when I say that when asked pious chantry, going folk will curse the use of foul magic, spitting and snapping their fingers. But none live today who actually remember the horror that was unleashed so very long ago. Whatever records might have existed regrettably did not survive the chaos and ignorance that was to follow. We have only the tales of survivors handed down through the murky ages and the dogma of the chantry to instruct us. And that is precious little indeed. I believe I'm not understating when I say that the second sin unleashed the bane of all life upon Thetis. The Darkspawn are more virulent than the worst plague, a heartless force of nature that came into our world like an ill wind. We know from accounts of later blights, as these Darkspawn invasions came to be called, never has a more appropriate name existed, that the Darkspawn spread disease and famine wherever they tread. The earth itself is corrupted by their presence. The sky roiling with angry black clouds. I do not exaggerate, my friends, when I say that a mass gathering of Darkspawn is an omen of dread cataclysm. It is said that those cursed magisters who became the first Darkspawn scratched at the very earth to find solace in the darkness of the Dwarven Deep Roads, and there in the shadows they multiplied. Whether by intelligent design or by some vestige of worship in their minds, they attempted to locate the old gods they had once served. They found what they sought, Dumat, first among the old gods, once known as the Dragon of Silence, before the Maker imprisoned him and all his brethren beneath the earth for the first sin, usurping the Maker's place in mankind's heart. The slumbering dragon awoke, freed from the Maker's prison by his twisted followers, and became corrupted himself. Dumat was transformed the first archdemon, his great and terrible power given will by a rotting, unholy mind. With the darkspawn horde following, Dumat rose and took wing in the skies once again, bringing ruin to the world the Maker had created. The old god had become the eye of a dark storm that would ravage the entire world. Brother Genitibi. Uh, yes, yes, I, uh, I made a mess of that quest too. Valheim's pretty fun so far. Not very far yet. It's going to be a hit if they keep the roadmap. 
as it isn't been a hit. Um, I don't know if you saw my post in the other games channel, but how does it feel as far as like, how would guide content for it be? You know what I mean? Like if I got it and tried it out and I tried to get um, well versed in the game, is there stuff there that people would probably be looking up pretty often? <clears throat> I mean, there is with every game, but you know what I mean? Some games lend themselves more to that sort of content than others. The Pyramids of Parvalon. The island called Parvalon was the first land in Thetis to be taken by the Kunari and has been held by them ever since. But while the Kunari have raised their own marbles on the island, the famed city of Kunandar comes to mind. Parvalon had a rich history before the Kun ever came to its shores. Tear your eyes from Kunandar's wonder and look instead to the jungle. There you'll see the ruins of a vast cities that proclaim in silence we were here. Parvalon's distinctive pyramids looming from the overgrowth have remained largely intact, even if their intended purpose has been lost. They do not seem to be tombs, though some chambers contain bodies that have been carefully preserved. Amazingly, the pyramids' proportions are mathematically perfect. Since their alignment is so perfect, one suspects they serve some scientific purpose. Observatories, perhaps? And when the rest has observed that the shape of the Parvalon Pyramid seems perfectly to match the constellation Solium. We know more of the pyramids than we do of the humans who built them. The Kunari came to Parvalon as conquerors, but there is no history and little sign of battles fought on the island shores. A civilization that could build such vast cities would surely have defenses, armies, perhaps weapons alien even to the Kunari. So why is there so little proof of resistance? One answer may lie in what remains of their temples. Beneath the leaves and vines covering the walls, you can still make out the stylized carvings that adorn them. The paint has long since flaked away, but the silhouettes are clear. Intricate sea creatures, shipwrights, musicians, archers, and kings. Here and there, odd figures are depicted tall horned, always in a position of authority and respect. What were these horned figures to the ancients of Parvalon? Priests? Ritualistically crowned? Heroes? Gods, perhaps? We may never know the truth, but when the Kunari arrived from the sea, horned and carrying the word of the Kun, perhaps instead of conquerors, the people of Parvalon saw an old legend returning to them. This is all a uh, position. The humans of Parvalon are Kunari now. Their ancient civilization discarded like the child's toy. Yet the pyramids remain along with the old cities. The island itself, one day, greater scholars may hear what they have to say. Hmm be a lot like minecraft or something like systems are super complex the game doesn't tell you anything so like uh how open is the building in the game like even just like building houses and stuff like that pretty simple but there's not a lot explained in the game itself i'm glad i'm learning more about the konari because in origin you learn very little and I didn't play the second game. Uh, I, I watched a story video for the main story of the second game. But I don't know how much was expanded on the Kunari during uh, the second Dragon Age. The Folly of General Not Sheraton 5. In the days that followed to avoid scandal, the appointing of Not Sheraton was claimed a grand tactic of the true general, who must have orchestrated the whole affair from secret. From secret, meaning the cloakroom. Not, for not even his own attendants knew his face. And they would have had the guard whisk him to jail for trespassing. With his mask restored and wary of the embarrassment, the general was merciful with not Sheraton, posing less than less than half the prescribed lashes and sparing her and her lord the gallows. They were allowed to leave or lay on the condition that not Sheraton was henceforth her name. Hmm. Oh, they aren't super complex, gotcha. What is green? What is green? Imagine I should present to you an object which, to my mind, is of indisputable greenness and ask, does this, uh, this thing appear to you to be green? Naturally, you might say that it does. But you have some, or come to recognize the appearance of the color of the object to be green, associating the word with what your eyes see. But could it be my understanding of green differs entirely from yours? What if, perchance, you could see into my mind. You might realize that all things that I name green are actually red in your understanding. Ah, without 
the moorings of objective truth, we are set adrift in oceans of solitary experience. The promising opening to a lecture given by Karsten Groke, philosopher poet at the University of or Orlais. The lecture's quality dropped significantly after this point and ended quickly when Groke, Groke, I don't know, subjected audience members to a poorly constructed ode to Chartreuse. He fled from the auditorium under fire from students armed with overripe red tomatoes. Red tomatoes. Building pretty freeform. Has a load system, so a piece needs to be within five, you think, pieces of foundation. Just the ground. So kind of similar to, like, uh, arc building, it sounds, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I might check it out. I'll think about it. I looked at it on Steam once already. So this is, a, like, our library, I guess. It's pretty, uh, pretty cobwebby down there. It's air. So it needs a way to get out or it smothers out and can smoke you out. Pretty cool. First, a full wheel of Antivan smoked cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. This place is huge. I can't recall their face. Oh, if anyone wants to spend channel points on the boost, that will help out. Uh, I don't know if it'll help out as much on a Wednesday this game or not but i mean it still helps so if you want to click on your channel points and spend for the goal uh feel free if i ever find out who put the turnips in the fireplace i will personally feed them into the meat grinder head cook john team another note from the skyhole kitchens once again please keep the elf out of the kitchen and check the sugar daily to make sure it is still sugar and not salt hmm Story game, though. Hey, still one. Welcome in. Beneath this is written, try keeping this out, followed by an arrow pointing toward a crude drawing of a phallus. Well, that was Sarah, obviously. She wants to blind. How many more days you got until you can head back in? And have you noticed feeling sick any or anything? Or it seems like it's just a precaution at the moment. Potatoes, 500. Flour, 50 sacks. Dried peas, 100 sacks. Salted meat, as much as possible. Willow switches, four, to break in the new kitchen hands. Solus, yeah. Yeah, right. Definitely Solus, not Sarah. How many times do I have to say this? If it falls on the floor, it's still good to eat. No system should go back on Saturday. It's, it's good, because you're not having symptoms. Oh, so this comes out the back. Oh, okay. Sarah would never. Do your structures. Mobs will attack your base from time to time. So then you can absolutely wreck it if you need defense structures as such. Yeah, I might try it out. Like I said, I, my my worry is that I'm going to, you know, spend 20 bucks on the game. And then I'm, it's going to get swallowed. The stream will get swallowed on stream by how many other big streamers are playing it. And then I... We'll end up switching back from it anyway, and then I'll be like, well, I wish I hadn't bought that game. <laughs> like, everything's simple but very polished. Game is one, it's only one gig. Some new games get caught up on your reading list. What what games are you checking out, Snowblind? Hmm. It's interesting that I can look at those aged wines and stuff, but I can't do anything with them yet it's gonna be really interesting to see this place get built up i'm guessing that's what's gonna happen based on the conversations with like josephine uh i really like that in games where the environment and world changes over time Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. They're the uh, the ones that we found before. Those are just collectible. I thought maybe there'd be some information. Well, kind of was. Green quest on Act Two. They're access like a lot. Don't think it's hard enough for me. <laughs> well, I don't have to only play super difficult games. Uh, let's see. Respecting Inquisition reputation. Dear Lady Montelliette, not my mother, Bandorner has become insufferably sly. 
The Inquisition is credited with no good deed without a repulsive motive attached to it. Our presence in this part of the free marches is so unwelcome, I feel I have no choice but to return to the capital and tend to my own estate's affairs. Strictly yours, Lady Buttlefort. Uh, Zeuser, thank you for the follow, Zeuser. Welcome in. Missed over. Yeah, I played that a little bit, I think. No, no, I didn't. I was told that I should play that. <laughs> Observing the deadlock. It was to be expected in the wake of so many important deaths and the rise of the Inquisition, several noble houses are attempting to spur their fortunes by crafting an alliance of their own. For now, they seem mired in arguments of seniority. It will be a long time before any of them threaten our standing. I say inviting to observe our soldiers' training to show that we are not critical outlaws. Yeah, I don't like that one very much. So we're going to wait on maybe Josephine. Inquisition agents have uncovered a potential problem in the nation of Navarra. A defensor mage by the name of Virilius has recently been noted in the company of King Marcus. And rumors com comment. I've arranged an accord between the Marquis and the Dowager. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful to us after all. Rumors comment on how strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heeded. There's evidence to indicate Virilius is a member of the Venatori, having the Navarran king under their sway could give the cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. Wait for this advisor to leave the capital and send a force to ambush and capture him? We should tell King Marcus what his advisor truly is, convince him to see the lights, send an agent to eliminate the advisor. I kind of want to send Josephine to that one too. Based on the revelation uh, at Haven that Venatory operatives report to a dark spine believed to be Master Corypheus, Threat assessment of hostile inventory have been reprioritized as vital. Duke Titus Pentagast rules the Navarran city of Hunter Fell. The former military hero who prided himself on his open-minded attitude, Duke Titus rules with the help of a secret network of old adventuring companions and possible lovers, as they are all rumored to be beautiful women. <laughs> Information on the five bells of Hunter Fell is limited, but they are known to include humans from both Orlay and Ferelden, an elf, a dwarf, and even a Tal uh, Vashoth. Known or suspected backgrounds range from respected mortalitasy, I don't know, or dragon hunter to bard, smuggler, or even apostate. We believe one of the five bells of Hunter Fell is a venatory agent working to advance the agenda of Corypheus. I have friends among the Templars. They might know more about this supposed apostate. Yeah, all right, let's send Cullen to that one. Huh. The five bells of Hunter Fells. Been peeking the new Grifflins content. I, yeah, I never got around to playing that either. Trying out Battle Brothers a bit. All this have to give me up Phoenix Point. Think you have a gaming addiction? <laughs> uh, surely not. You're up in the morning watching video games on Twitch. Trying to decide if you're going to try out some more games here in a little bit. Yeah. Definitely not. All right, you know what? Let's go kill some stuff. Special shipments. Oh, okay, last thing, and then we'll kill some stuff. I haven't killed anything today. I didn't even execute that guy. He's lucky I'm not holding court now. After like an hour of just talking to people, I'm ready to kill someone. If we had court right now, he might not survive. Now he's studying magic for us. Better and better. What can't we do in a place like this? This is where a smith should be. Pitter patter up and at it. I still need to do this, have an item enchanted, have Herrick create a masterwork. Uh Skyhold customizations. Oh right. I don't, I don't think we have any yet, right? Have an item enchanted. Do we just do it here? Oh, I still don't know.
So many people I'm ready to kill someone. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel that way. Right, do I have anything in here that says masterwork? Aside from like the pommel? Yeah, it's probably a pretty common sentiment, huh? Like I have the masterwork hilts and the sword grip, but though I made one of those last time, it didn't seem to count for the quest, so. Is there a masterwork specific slot somewhere? What, what do you, what do you mean? Oh, like when you're actually making something? Is that what that new slot is? Uh. Yeah, I didn't notice that new slot. That's probably what that is. Let's take a look. Uh, Ladnik, thank you for the follow, Lad. Welcome in. Yeah, that's a new slot. All right, cool. So that was added at the end of last week. Masterwork. There we go. Ah. Uh. Two percent chance to cast mind blast on hit. Two percent chance to cast mind blast on hit. Well, two percent chance to use shield bash on a hit. Chance to use shield, shield bash. There's a chance of masterwork. Ten percent to stats on success. All right. Well, let's try it. This could be better than our weapon, but it would have to roll pretty, pretty nicely. Like we don't have enough obsidian to roll it at 174. Uh, if it doesn't roll better than ours, we can still give it to Iron Bull as this two-handers. So, I guess it's not a, it's not a waste either way. All right, let's see here. This is the offense slot, so chance to heal on kill. Percent barrier damage bonus. 10% barrier damage bonus. 6% attack. 10% heal on kill. Barrier damage, 6% attack. Uh, let's go with the 9% heal. I don't want to like go full out on this. Flanking damage. So that, okay, that counted. I have an item enchanted, so I'm guessing it's uh, somewhere on here. Okay, so we did that part. So where now? What do we do to have item enchanted? There's not an enchanting specific spot, so it's got to be in here, right? Uh, let's see. Well, there's no empty spot other than a sigil. Around the weapons. We can see if we can buy runes or something from here. Let's see. I think we're sell. No. Must be from a actual vendor. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. So this basically only sells the respec. Uh we need to sell our gray items before we head out. Have an item enchanted. Uh, let's see what she says. Ready for anything, Inquisitor? No, she's crafting. I'll see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor. So, how about Adam Enchant is the only thing left here? Greener Garden. With the right materials and improvements can be made, Sky Holds Garden. We need logging stands for that. With the right materials need quarries and logging stands for that. Spear Tower. It's crafting. Uh, have an item enchanted. Yeah, I've stored some stuff in there. I'm just trying to figure out how to get an item enchanted. Is there a difference? Like, in the first game, you just friggin' go to the enchantment dwarf. But, uh, it feels like it would be just right here. But maybe I don't have the means to do it. Let's see, this one's not full other than the sigil. What about something that's... For sure I have it right, I just don't have the stuff. Yeah, it's like I, I don't have any enchantments. Something. All right, well, I guess we'll come back. Uh, let's go kill some stuff finally. What am I using now? I think I'm still using the razor at the moment. Yeah, I haven't found anything better than this. It's been really good. Uh, yeah, the haters razor, which I've been wearing since level eight. Yeah, I think it's the runes too. I just don't, I don't have any, so I'm not sure where the where we get the runes. There's got to be somewhere that sells them, but. Uh, there's some merchants down in the second area. Let's go down there and check before we head out on quest. Uh, no. I, my wife and I still haven't watched that trailer. But I do plan on playing the game. Someone asked if I was going to play the game. I said yes. I still haven't watched the trailer. Uh, is this the level of the merchants? Uh, the merchants are out the other door. Someday I'll get used to... Or... Merchants are down here. Someday I'll get used to sky holds. I hate Mass Effect, it's no Greedfall. <laughs> yeah. It's no Greedfall, that's true. Mixed elements... I'll match best I can, but there are two substructures here. Skyhold was built in stages or rebuilt. Is this where we want to invest? If it's fallen before, how can we be sure it won't fall again? Two words, the Inquisitor. Invest and commit. We are as strong as the will of the weakest of us. Cassandra Pentagast. I don't need you, sister. A blank runestone, a tier one rare rune material. Uh, all right. So that must be it. Uh, weapon schematic, armor schematic, recipes. Dragon slaying rune. Big bonus damage against dragons on each weapon strike. Demon slaying, ornate Bianca grip. All right, let's try to buy this rune and see what happens. Ooh, what? Axe of the Dragon Hunter. Level 16. That's expensive. Uh, level 13 Rogue Bow. Blank Rune is probably crafting right. Yeah, that's why. I kind of think it's too. Yeah, I need to look through shops more often. Freeze out memories. Who love this game? Hey, we made it to the stables. I haven't, I haven't been in here, I don't think. Blackwall. Blackwall, did you make that? Nice. 
this. This is just... It's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. Where I think you're going next? Uh, I think I'm going to Storm Coast or Hinterlands again. <laughs> Finish one of those. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned We didn't do very much in Storm Coast. And girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Guess that's so be it. Guess that's it. Reapers win. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. Chevalier. See, in Darkest Dungeon, I've been calling them Chevaliers forever. This game is calling it Chevalier, so I think maybe for 2,000 hours in Darkest Dungeon, I've been mispronouncing Chevalier. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. Although they are saying Tourney, so... Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> But the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. Mm. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. Yeah, why did he help you win? He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire, someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Different doesn't always mean better. <laughs> In this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. All right, silent, yeah. It's like Viscount. I'd only ever read the word Viscount, so my entire life I just thought it was pronounced Viscount. And then Darkest Dungeon happened. Okay, now we go back and see if I can do the enchant. Let's mark that off our list there. So we do have, we have a crafted rune and we have an uncrafted rune, just in case. Should be able to slap that bad boy in one of our weapons. Oh, what do we got here? News from Thetis, Haven destroyed by Dacus Menace. Dire news from the Frostbacks. The Pilgrim Sanctuary of Haven, home to the New Inquisition, has been destroyed. Information is still vague, but some believe a dragon resembling an archdemon was involved in the attack. Fears of a new blight are now beginning to surface. As the Chantry continues to flounder, some are concerned that Haven's destruction may predict the Inquisition's imminent collapse. However, there is yet hope, as reports indicate that the Herald of Andraste and Inquisition leadership survived and have found refuge elsewhere. Choir Belinus. Uh, I just caught back up on Dragon Age for YouTube. Uh, hey, Free Water, welcome in. Yeah, I think I'm a couple episodes behind on it on, on YouTube. So this one might be like two hours ahead of where you are. But, uh, either way, yeah. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for watching, of course. All right, let's see if we can do this. Hmm, my, str my stream PC monitor has blinked a couple of times today. Hopefully it's not starting to give. Felt the pain all over again on the attack on Haven. Yeah. Where's my other hand? No. 
No rune upgrades available. We still not have something that we can put it in, apparently. Wait, what happened to the rune I just bought? Did I not buy it somehow? Oh, my lord. All right, I'm going to need you guys to do something for me. Just kill me. Yeah, but I bought the one under it as well. I bought the one underneath. Um... I I meant to buy it anyway. I thought I'd double click that one too. Running back for like 20 seconds. I'd just rather die. There's a... No, I can re-examine the same one. I thought I had bought the one under it that was already done, but let me double check. Lord Inquisitor, Bonnie Sims at your service. All right, Bonnie Sims. I, I didn't mean to talk to you. It was not too coarse. Now that you've come to some good fortune, you deserve an upgrade. As master of the tradesmen, I stand ready to supply your every need. Every need. Who or what are the tradesmen? A following of sympathetic and profit minded individuals who promotes local craftsmen and fair importers. A guild of sorts. Although that implies counter affiliations, we are not interested in crossing. Our purpose in the Inquisition is legitimate and. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I did or not. That's why I'm going to check, though. You have what you need at honest prices. It's a shame Segre Very much to be wrong. Here, I just double check. It is, but one must continue. That's it. He was a shrewd man, but he was none too pleasant. It was time arrangements were made. I shall make every effort to prove. At the very least, I guess I should have talked to her last time I was here, so it's a good thing I came back. What can you do for me? Maybe she'll make us a sandwich if the maker won't. What do you bring to the Inquisition? What you need and more. It takes great coordination to make a remote location seem central. While there is no doubt the boutiques of Balfrio display the grandest of the grand, they do not travel. At least, not yet. Why are you a mere merchant if you're the master of this group? I wish to avoid the suggestion that I am a posturing commander atop a structure of malcontents. It is better to remain active, hands on. That thing on her neck looks very uncomfortable. We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. Yeah, let me just double check. So, crafting materials. Seralt infused glass. So, oh, okay. It's a metal. For some reason, I thought it was a rune. So, we bought a blank rune stone and we bought uh, a tier two metal. <laughs> That's not even a... Yeah. So we didn't even buy a pattern for a rune or a. Yeah, we bought a blank rune stone. Uh, I don't have a lot of dragon blood, giant spider glands. So let's just go ahead and buy these rune patterns. So that's what it was. All right. So now we at least have the recipe to make a couple of runes. Uh, the question is, do we have enough dragon's blood? It's quite cold there, though. Yeah. It's true. We are pretty high up. You think upgrading Bianca might count as well? Uh, we have Bianca Arms 3 already on it. But again, I think I did, I did that before we even had the quest uh, enchantment item. So maybe if it does count, it didn't because of that. But make her make me a sandwich. Well, at least we have pattern for a rune now. Apparently that second thing I bought was just metal. The pen is mightier than All right, so how do we actually craft the rune? There we go. 
Corrupting Rune. So we could make that one. The bonus damage against humanoids, beasts, and animals on each weapon strike. Adds fire damage to each weapon strike. All right, let's do this one. Okay, we have made a rune. That one already has a corrupted rune on it. Uh, who's using that one? I think uh, Cole is using that one. It's a pretty cool story. It's great. Let's throw on this one that we're giving to um, uh, Iron Bull. All right, let's see if that counts. All right, finally. It's complete. Uh, now we can play the game. You know what? Cole made it back from the war table, so I have to go set him up to go somewhere else. And then we can play the game. Can't you just handle this, Josephine? Can't you just decide where people go on the board for me for a little bit? I should just put them all in like three hour missions. That's what I should do. Ah, yes, the candle clipboard. Uh, let's see. A letter to Commander Cullen with information on the apostate. All I can say for certain about the apostate is that when asked why she had not joined the circle, she declared the chance of light was for humans. It meant nothing to her. Hope this information helps. Extra from Ben has wrath information report. We still have neither race nor background information on the Vidatori agent and Hunter Fell. The bells are effectively nobility of the city. Any information about them is protected. We have confirmed that the Tal Vashoth, whatever else she may be, is not a mage. Whether she is or was one of Duke Tithes' lovers, she now appears to be in a relationship with a smuggler. Uh, Tal Vashoth cannot hide her reputation easily, so no matter how protective she is, let my ladies ask about her. Yeah, we'll send Josephine. Let us begin. Uh... and Cullen somewhere. Found a sigil. Sigils can be attached to armors and give special bonuses along with unique hindrances. We just found a rune. 14 minute mission, yeah. Our emissaries have returned. Orzammar has pledged to our cause some of the most portal warriors from the Legion of the Dead. According to the king, they are veteran darkspawn hunters, absolutely fearless. King also graciously offered to share Orzammar's wealth. He recognizes the threat Corypheus poses. Nice. All right, Cullen, screw it. I'm sending you out to get some coin, and then I'm going to go quest. To work? To work. These are different than the runes. Does it, does it go in the same slot, though, I thought? Might have been misreading. They had like a positive and a negative that they do or something. All right, let me cut this.